Once upon a time, a man named Greg sat on a park bench pondering his seemingly invisible existence. Like clockwork, Greg sat on the specific bench hoping his true love would come sit down beside him. And today, like every other day, Greg sat unaccompanied, unnoticed, and unloved. Heather, on the other hand, chose to escape her loneliness through the pages of fiction. Since childhood, she vicariously lived through the lives of princesses and palaces. Unbeknownst to her, her Prince Charming was out there, sitting in the park. Okay, well, Greg wasn't always in the park. In fact, today he was shopping for a watch. Heather happened to be in this store, too. And if ever the perfect place existed for them to meet, this was it. But the timing was all wrong. However, that was about to change. Why Greg pushed the knob on that watch just as the man crossed the road? Who knows? But Greg knew that buying that watch was by far the best $10 he'd ever spent. Most people would be tempted to abuse the ability to manipulate time, but not Greg. If he knew the place where something bad would happen, he could easily be there at the right time to advert certain calamity. And calamity was exactly what Heather was experiencing. She had no idea what was happening or why, only that every time she had an encounter with a fellow of adequate charm, the world simply stopped turning. And when it resumed, she was back where she started. Only her bird was unaffected and he was far from romantic material. Well, Greg's newfound powers also did him little good in his quest to find Mrs. Wright. Heather, however, continued trying, but the results were the same. They both assumed fate was determined to see them miserable and alone. However, nothing could be further from the truth. There are three things that fate seldom allows to continue. The rich to remain rich, the thin to remain thin, and the lonely to remain alone. Like a masterful writer, fate would contrive an opportunity for these two love seekers to meet. Being at the right place at the right time is the only requirement for love at first sight. Judging by the looks of it, that's exactly what this is. Oh. And the watch never worked again. The flow of time went back to normal, and they lived happily ever after.